Hello, beautiful people. I hope that all is well in your world and this day becomes a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. Beautiful black people, know that there are many on the line issues regarding too many white folks. Since the inception of this plantation called America, too many white folks have had a, I call it a death, D-E-A-T-H, a death cult mentality. Hence is why so many black slaves were lynched, murdered, slaughtered, massacred by any means possible by too many of those white folks. And even today in July of 2020, that death cult cult mentality is responsible for more than 132,000 deaths now. And that does not even account for the hundreds of people across this country that have died at home. There is a death cult mentality. There is an insatiable appetite for death, especially black death and black suffering. If you really think about it, for all of these years, for decades, these white folks in in these powerful, influential positions in the white boy house, in the Trump administration, in the U.S. Congress, in the U.S. Senate, on the U.S. Supreme Court. They have known that guns kill more than 30,000 Americans every year. Guns kill more than 30,000 Americans every year. And the people that are using these guns to kill are overwhelmingly white folks that own guns. A lot of them are white racist cops, but the overwhelming majority of these folks are white folks that own guns, gun owners. There's a death cult mentality among too many white folks. There's an infestation of it. It's like a drug addict being addicted to a drug. Too many of these white folks salivate when they have an opportunity to cause multiple death, a massive death. Look at Trump every time he gets a camera and a microphone placed in front of him. He's, he is elated. He's happy that 132,000 human beings have died as a result of COVID-19. And as I stated before, there are hundreds more that have died at home that we don't even know about. 
there's a death cult mentality. 30,000 people are killed with guns every year. But these white racist politicians, these white racist Republicans, will do nothing about it because the Republican Party is a stronghold of folks, white folks, that have this death cult mentality. Look at that white woman, the head of the Department of Education. I believe her name is Bessie DeVos. In cohorts with Trump and the Republican Party, they are on a mission to reopen public schools in August when the COVID-19 disease is spiraling upward, is ascending upward every day. They do not care anything about the children, the teachers, the custodians, the cooks, all of those folks that work in these public schools will now be exposed to COVID-19. And hundreds of these folks will die. Trump, Bessie DeVos, Pence, Larry Cudlow. I believe his name is Amos Navarro. They have this death cult mentality. They do not have empathy for anyone. They want to push forward with opening public schools. These white folks are killing us in an effort to spur the economy and to serve a deaf cult mentality laced Republican purpose. There's a war on immigrants. There's a war on immigrants that have been raised by these deaf cult mentality white racist Republicans and the Trump Trump and his administration. What these white folks are saying to us non-white folks what they are saying to us the non-white folks that we will either deport you we will either deport you or we will kill you by any means possible. If they cannot deport you from this plantation called America, then they will put you in a place, a position, a predicament whereby COVID-19 will kill you are some crazy, insane, white racist domestic terrorists with a gun 
will kill you. These white folks, too many of them, have a death cult, C-U-L-T, mentality. They have an insatiable appetite for the death of anyone that do not look like them. And I would say encourage all of you beautiful, intelligent black folks out there and you white folks that are listening to my podcast. I would say remember their names. Remember their names. Donald Trump, Larry Kudlow, Bessie DeVos, Mike Pompey, Vice President Pence, William Barr of the DOJ, Mark Meadows of the White Boy House, Devin Nunes, the U.S. Congress, Matt Gates, the U.S. Congress, Jim Jordan of the U.S. Congress, Mitch McConnell of the U.S. Senate, John Cornyn of the U.S. Senate, Marco Rubio of the U.S. Senate, Ted Cruz of the U.S. Senate. Just a few of those names, of those death, cult, mentality-minded white folks that are responsible for now more than 132,000 deaths and rising every day. They are responsible for more than 30,000 gun death each year. It's an endemic now. Gun death are endemic. They are saying to us, learn to live with 30,000 gun death every year. They are saying to us, learn to live with more than 132,000 death as a result of COVID-19. Learn to live with it every day. It is going to be with us because we are a death cult of delusionists, white boys and white girls. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the Thrasher Way dot L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com.